Hey guys, Dan Greer coming at you from the Socorro National Park again. Um, we're walking up this beautiful trail. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to kind of swing around so you guys can see the view behind us. So you can see the kind of like, <laughs> it's very deserty, right? Go figure. Tucson, Arizona, deserty. Still gorgeous. Just its own kind of gorgeous. And uh, that's what really got me thinking about all this. And just really wanted to come to you guys just today to talk about adapting to your environment and so <clears throat> let's look at elon musk i've been kind of geeking out a little bit on elon musk i know i'm behind the times but he is a super smart entrepreneur agree with me disagree with me i don't care but he's super smart entrepreneur and let me explain why because he adapts to what's needed so he saw the need for an ai car an automatic driving car he chose to make it fully electric to adapt to the future and make it completely unique. Hence, Tesla was born. Before that, he saw the need for a system that anybody could use to process credit cards and charge you a, a fraction, right, of what it is. PayPal. Okay? He adapted. How does a dude who creates PayPal create Tesla, who then goes in to create SpaceX, and is now doing uh this is satellite one satellite internet direct link i think something like that Star starlink starlink who then goes in to create starlink now starlink and spacex kind of go hand in hand right we can see that but here's the thing he's a problem solver and he adapts to his environment so when he created tesla he didn't demo it all over the world he demoed it in the u.s where he knew it was going to be huge because of what they were looking for at the time when he did spacex he didn't do it in australia again he did it in russia and the u.s where there's a huge race for space <laughs> as he's doing this starlink he's not doing it over big cities he's doing it in rural areas to where he can provide internet to rural world so that's uh that was it like as i was looking around here i was like man none of this stuff would grow at my house up in alpine colorado like high high level right high elevation none of this stuff will grow in california off the coast where there's a ton of moisture houston or where there's high winds in kansas right kansas might be dry enough to grow some of this but <laughs> anyways my point is is we have to adapt to where we're at and so when you're getting ready to grow your business when you're getting ready to grow and take that entrepreneur leap into the next level look at where you're at look at your serene surroundings look at what your industry is and then grow your business based on your industry not the other direction the industry won't grow around you you grow with the industry you're in so if you're in trucking right you need to be looking for the next step for trucking. What's the best way that you can that you can take a step forward in that industry? Don't say, oh, I'm gonna do this and the trucking industry is gonna follow me. No, do the opposite direction. What does the trucking industry need that's gonna push them to the next level and do that? All right, guys, that's it. Hope you have a great day.